On Wednesday, Senator Joe Lieberman took the stage at Stanford Marriott and announced to a room full of friends and news media that he will not run for Senate come 2012. And as you know, I've been thinking a lot and talking with family and friends about whether I should seek a fifth term. Uh, now I'd like to tell you, though it probably won't be a surprise, <laughs> what I've decided and then why. I have decided that it's time to turn the page to a new chapter. And so I will not be a candidate for re-election to a fifth term in the United States Senate in 2012. That was not an easy decision for me to make because I've loved serving in the Senate and I feel good about what I've accomplished. His decision, he said, was not an easy one, but he wanted to spend time with his growing family and continue working in public service. Along the way, I have not always fit comfortably into conventional political boxes. Maybe you've noticed that. <laughs> Democrat, Republican, liberal, or conservative, because I've always thought that my first responsibility is not to serve a political party, but to serve my constituents, my state, and my country, and then to work across party lines to make sure good things get done for them. The location he chose for his announcement, the Marriott on Trestor Boulevard, was especially significant, he explained, because decades ago he was born and grew up at 42 Hawthorne Street, where the Marriott now stands. My father, mother, then one sister, though the other sister, Ellen, is here, and I lived in a cold water flat on the second floor of my grandmother's house at 42 Hawthorne Street, uh, right here in Stamford, Connecticut. That house and the rest of the street was demolished in the early 60s for urban redevelopment, but it was located right about where this Marriott Hotel is today. <laughs> As I think about the journey that I've traveled from my childhood home to this day, I can't help but also think about my four grandparents and the journey they traveled more than a century ago as immigrants to this country. They came to America seeking freedom, and they found it. They came to America hoping for opportunities, and they got them. But even they could not have dreamed that their grandson would end up a United States senator and, incidentally, a barrier-breaking candidate for vice president of the United States. But that is America. The truth is that no other nation in history can match our ideals and our accomplishments. I know that we've gone through tough times recently, but I could not be more confident about our future. So don't let anyone convince you that America's best days are over. Believe with me that America's best days are ahead of us.